Hello? Oh, man, I'm just at cheerleading practice right now, man, just doing a QB. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, I'll call you back, though. All right. Yo, 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 what's up, Warriors and Wahines? You rocking with your boy Ryan Grice Mullins, and this is Mullin' Around. Check me out. Back with another episode of Mullin' Around. I'm here with Don and Jeremy from the UH Cheerleading Squad. How you guys doing today? Doing good. How you? I'm good, I'm good, can't complain. First question I have for both of you guys. Let's just clear the air right now. Is cheerleading a sport or not? <laughs> um, definitely yes. I think uh, one of the biggest misconceptions is uh, that cheerleading is not a sport. But um, I mean, here at University of Hawaii, we're working you know, day in, day out. We're at all these sporting events, working every day. So I would definitely have to say yes. Would you have any, any other answers for that? I mean, a lot of places technically don't call us a sport, but like he said here, they definitely treat us like we're one. Hey, I think it's a sport. Like I said, you guys work harder than anybody I've seen, so I believe it's a sport. So we all seen the movie, Bring It On. You know, it's a funny movie, um, but when you guys go to nationals, you know, is it really like the movie? You know, is it, you know, uh, people stealing mascots, or people popping tires, you know, sabotaging you guys? Is it really like that? It's pretty similar to Bring It On in the sense that there's a lot of teams, people are outside practicing all the time. I personally haven't seen anyone stealing any mascots, <laughs> but for the most part, it's the same. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, we work hard to go down there, you know, and it's, it's a business trip when we go down there, so we're pretty focused on what we're doing, but I've heard some crazy stories of, of stuff that's gone on, so I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some similarities there. So you're legitimate about, what well, I'd say, four foot nine, give or take. Okay, is it? Pretend? Four ten. Four ten, okay. <laughs> pretend four ten, I got you. So is one of the requirements that you guys have to be under five foot to be a cheerleader? It's not a requirement, it just just so happens that our team seems to be on the shorter end. Um, I think the tallest girl on our team is maybe five two, I'm guessing. Oh wow, but, I, I bet she's considered a giant, huh? Yeah, to me <laughs> anyway. <laughs> As a former player myself, this has always kind of bugged me. Um, you guys know when it's the fourth quarter of a football game and, you know, it's only a couple minutes left on the clock. You guys, you know, the team is down by 21. You know, the team know it's almost over. The fans definitely know it's probably over. You know, but you guys still got a job to do. You know, you guys still got to cheer. Let's go Bows. Let's go Bows. You know, uh, how do you keep a smile on your face? You know, how do you do it? Well, definitely, I think that, uh, like, one of the biggest things for an athlete competing in a store it would probably be to uh, lose the, the crowd support throughout the game. So as long as you have the crowd cheering for you and the crowd loud, I think that really helps motivate the players to do good on the field. And so we take that upon ourselves, um, you know, to entertain the squad and just keep their voices loud to help support the team all the way through the end. And I mean, you'll definitely see like some crazy stuff happening yeah. in games, crazy come from behind victories and stuff and huge upsets. So that's uh, one of our motivations is to just, you know, be a, that support for the teams. It's a great answer. So one of you guys' job with being a cheerleader is, you know, to get the sports teams pumped up, you know, when they head out onto the field or to the court. Um, how do you guys get yourselves pumped up, you know, for a big competition you guys have coming up? Definitely, I think uh, being an athlete of a uh, previous sport, and uh, everyone on our team has been like athletes of other sports as well. Um, I think it's really similar to like basketball or football or this and that. Like uh, we are pretty uh, ritualistic on a lot of things we do with our warm up and different things to get us prepared. So um, it's pretty similar, I think, across the board um, in terms of cheerleading related to other sports and how we get, get ourselves ready to compete. So you guys think you can show me a couple stunts, some of your best stunts that you guys do during a game or during a halftime show? Yeah, definitely, let me show you some. Okay, let's go for it, let me see it. I think I can do that. Ah, oh. hey, man, this ain't that hard. You guys making this seem harder than it really was. 
<laughs> nice job, man. That's good. Thanks, Jeremy. Hey, that was really good. Appreciate it, Don. Hey, once again, thank both of you guys for coming out and you know letting me enjoy your sport. And um, till next time, mulling around. <laughs>